Indian peacekeepers have been part of many international peacekeeping missions in troubled areas the world over. In Somalia and Angola, it was the Indian army which ushered in peace. But perhaps many of us are unaware of the role that the Indian police force has played in bringing Haiti back to life or indeed that an IPS contingent is doing us proud in rebuilding the brutalized state of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Murderous ethnic violence following the breakup of Yugoslavia led to millions being displaced, murdered and buried in mass graves from 1992 to 1995. Today, there is a surface calm in Sarajevo. But to maintain this peace and put Bosnia back on the road to reconstruction, there is a huge international military and police presence. The NATO-led military force, known here as the S4 or Stabilization Force, has a strength of 32,000 troops with divisions drawn from several NATO countries. But equally important is the International Police Task Force, or the IPTF, which consists of 2,009 officers. The Indians, with a strength of 143, represented by the IPS, BSF, CRPF and Black Cat Commandos, are the second largest contingent after the Americans. A key element in this nation-building process is the retraining of a police force which has either worked in a communist state or been partisan during Bosnia's ethnic war. The Indian IPS officers are taking the lead in retraining the Bosnian police as a secular police force. The United Nations felt that the local police needs to be trained for this transition period, transition from the earlier communist state to the now democratic state, because with uh, changing equations, changing social equations, changing political equations, the police also needs to mold itself to the ever-changing demands of its job. And that is what we are doing over here in transition course or in the human dignity course. At the Canton Police Academy on the hills to the west of Sarajevo, Manish Sharma, an IPS officer of the Madhya Pradesh cadre, keeps 50 Bosnian officers engrossed in his lecture. We will try to highlight all these small things so that during your work as police officers, you will be able to make use of these. Do these Indian officers find themselves better equipped to handle situations in Bosnia because of similar experiences back home? Problems that we face in India are almost similar to the problems that we have here in ex-Yugoslavia, which is Bosnia. But the difference is the problems in India are of a very high degree of a great magnitude. I mean, we face crowds of 10,000 people, 20,000 people. We face those mobs and we have to control those mobs. Or the rate of crime in India is very high. The investigations that we do are more complex. So it's, it's not really difficult to train here because we have all that experience back in our home country. And therefore, to give, to share part of that experience is a good experience. The achievements of the Indian officers in Sarajevo have been the subject of much praise by officers working with them. The Indian officers have exceeded anything we could have ever imagined. Uh, to be professional and show that we're international and, and to deliver this message to the students is the most important thing. And their contribution to the reconstruction of Bosnia has not gone unnoticed by the European community. Indian police that I have met, uh, I have met in Bosnia, have always been extremely professional and really excellent and really dedicated to their work. And I have particularly noticed that with the Indian police. Uh, police of very high caliber coming here. While the nation building exercise in Bosnia has a long way to go, Haiti has slowly come back to life with major contributions made by the Indian contingent. But whether it is Bosnia or Haiti, the Indian police officers have had to perform their duty while at the same time trying to adapt themselves to unfamiliar political situations, to new cultures, different languages, climate and food habits, an altogether different lifestyle. And these otherwise brave officers have no shame in admitting their one weakness. They miss home and they miss India. Initially when we came here, one week seemed like a month and a month seemed like a year. Now we are slightly tuned to it in a better way and despite everything, we would like to be back home and police there as we did before.
Leaving home has been a bit of a sacrifice for most of these Indian boys, but their work has won them international applause. The excellence of their job hasn't escaped even an international spokesman like French President Jacques Chirac. The Indian uh, soldiers are very, very good in Bosnia. I take great care of Bosnia since I am elected. And uh, I want to tell you uh, that the Indian soldiers are beautiful in Bosnia. But the irony is that the extraordinary contribution of Indian officers in remote areas of the world is barely recognized in their own country. In fact, do Indians even know that these officers are doing us proud in distant lands?